Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Monday, April 15th, 2019. So it's tax day, everyone, tax day, and Tiger wins the Masters. How about that? <laughs> the Bulls are looking pretty darn good. <clears throat> Here they're really um, showing lots and lots of strength here lately. And of course we had just a beautifully uh, powerful move on Friday moving us higher on those big bank earnings. This morning we're looking at earnings um, coming out in Goldman Sachs, uh, Citibank I believe is this morning, and <clears throat> Charles Schwab. And we're seeing futures are just kind of modest, modestly bullish at the moment. We've already had Goldman Sachs earnings that actually beat on the top line, but kind of surprising to see that the futures have not responded significantly higher on that news. So let's take a look at what's going on here. We can see that the Dow has a little bit of challenge ahead of it. We're right here trying to break through this price resistance here that we set and just trying to, to get up through there. We have a nice little trend in play. It wouldn't be at all surprising to see this take a little bit more consolidation or whatever before it can pop on through that level. But we do have this bullishness going on in the market. And right now the bulls don't want to give up. And the bears just really at this time don't seem to have any teeth. And um, let's, as we watch this, we'll pay attention to these resistance highs up here. If we, um, as we move up and try to challenge those levels. But once again, remember, if we mark our current trend, don't be at all surprised. Notice how the market kind of tends to come back to its trend. So don't be surprised if we don't have to do a little bit more backing and filling, consolidating, consolidating work in here as second quarter earnings um, get get wound up and going here to just really build some energy to move. Um, on higher it may take just a little bit more time however let's take a look at the spy the spy i would have to say is really within striking distance of those all-time highs if we take a look at this chart you can see we're we're pushing this resistance right here but it's really not that much of a big that much of a move to get up here and test that all-time high so we'll want to keep an eye on that and pay attention to, to see if we can actually get enough energy to break through this little resistance that's right in here it's not substantial but we do have to worry about breaking through there and if we can then and popping up here to test those all-time highs so I would say we're we're really in striking distance particularly in the SPY and the NASDAQ but don't be at all surprised again don't be at all surprised if we have to consolidate a little bit more and move over here to the trend before we finally find that energy to pop on through let's take a look at the NASDAQ the the cues have just been really really strong and they haven't given us really any um, uh, worry at all and you can see we're very, very close to new highs here in the queues. We're truly in that striking distance range. And notice we don't have to come all the way up here to get a new high a record high close if we were to close just above this area right here we could get a record high close for the market and i just can't imagine getting this close to it that the bulls are going to give up very easily on making that occur they want that headline and um, i would expect they're going to continue to push in fact, it'd be an awful disappointment if that didn't happen um, at this point. And if we can happen to break on through this resistance up here, then we've got blue sky above for the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM is a little bit of a concern for us. IWM is certainly lagging way behind the other indexes. Those small caps are not finding the love that uh, the bigger indexes are. And you can see right in here, we're struggling right around this area of resistance. So we have this resistance area right in here. And we're struggling, struggling, struggling in here, trying to move through uh, that area. Can we get through? I believe we can. And if we do, we really have a bigger 
positive pattern that could form if that's the case. Let me take this to a, a longer term chart and take a look at this weekly. Can you guys see the possibility of a big weekly inverted head and shoulders pattern showing up here in this chart? So the possibility is there. Whether that's what we'll, we'll, we will actually get, I don't know. And if we were to fail, um, if, whoops, if we were to fail here, that would certainly um, uh, not be a, a good situation. Obviously, that's how topping patterns get made if we were to happen to have a failure there. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX has been showing just no fear at all. Um, diving down here into this area of support. Now, I got to, I got to, bring this up because it, it just feels like to me that we're a little bit complacent in the market. Nobody seems to care that uh, about anything. Um, if it comes to um, worries about uh, global slowdown or any of those things, warnings from the IMF, nothing seems to matter. We're just ignoring all of that and pushing and buying with both hands. And that always gives me a little bit of pause. And I worry about that complacency when the market kind of gets into that idea that it just can't go down and that's when it can really go down and you can see um, that's what occurs in those type of situations now I'm not suggesting that's what's happening here just that the little bit of concern on that um, is in play so watch this right here if we happen to catch a little bit of a lift off of this a little bit of fear that would mean a little pullback happening maybe in the market but I don't think that would be anything that would really shake us up until we really started to break and, and break up through these levels up here. Then we would have to start to worry on the VIX. Let's take a look at T2122, which is a four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we're pushing up here in that, uh, what I call the bearish reversal zone. And if you look at this indicator and you take this back, take it back as far as you want. Um, you're going to find that when we reach up into these areas up here, that's when we catch those pullbacks. We move back to that lower region down here. And it's not anything bad. It just means that we may be a little bit stretched for the short term. So a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback um, is not a bad thing in the market as long as it doesn't get out of hand. Now, what we've got up here right now, you can see being up in this area, we still have room to go up. So I don't want anybody to think that I'm suggesting we immediately start falling from here because that's not what the market is saying. We have plenty of room to move up here. And by the way, this, this indicator has nothing to do with predicting the market. All it's trying to do is show us when we may be reaching kind of an overextension um, in our bullishness and we need a little bit of rest or pullback. And so if we move, we still have plenty of room to move up here, but just keep in mind that leaves a pretty big open door for the opportunity to move a little bit lower or consolidate in the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And well, just a second here, I think I have accidentally closed my economic calendar. So give me just a second. Um, wrong economic calendar. There we go. There we are. That's what I wanted to see. So taking a look at our economic calendar here today, you can see we don't have a whole lot going on. We have the Empire State Manufacturing Report at 8.30. Now that can move us around, and particularly if it's a surprise, but unlikely to move us all that much. And then um, Treasury International Capital down here has the potential to move us a little bit. But you can see largely a, a boring, boring day. We have a couple of Fed speakers, um, actually the same Fed speaker twice, um, to think about in some bond auctions. But other than that, not much going on on the economic calendar today. So what that means is we're kind of subject to what's going on in the earnings calendar. And we know we have a considerable number of earnings this morning. Now, Goldman Sachs has already uh, 
um, reported this morning. We're still waiting on more reports. But Goldman, you can see on their report, even though they beat on that top line, not finding a whole lot of impressiveness um, by the investors here on that um, earnings report. So we'll have to keep an eye on that Goldman Sachs uh, move here. Notice that Goldman is testing this longer term downtrend line and a failure here could be kind of critical so keep an eye on that if that were to fail that would not be a good sign here for goldman and we're still waiting on uh, the other bank earnings this morning so let's keep an eye out for that um overall on the earnings report we have about well close to 60 companies uh, excuse me, close to 70 companies reporting earnings today. And um, uh, the big, you know, it's the big banks, the the SCHW, Charles Schwab, um, those kind of things, the Citibank, those will be the ones that will move the market around significantly. So we'll want to keep an eye on those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons. And please do me a favor. Leave those comments. I truly, truly appreciate that. Clicking those thumbs up and leaving comments um, on, those, on the videos helps these videos to be shown to more people. And um, I truly appreciate that. I don't make money from these videos. I never intend to make money from these videos. These are truly um, in the effort of trying to help people do a little bit better job with their morning preparation. So if you find that useful, please also share this video with other friends and family. Let's take a look at some charts that might be setting up for potential trades and things that we might want to be looking at. Now, remember, anytime I show you a chart here or anything that's going on in the market, I am not suggesting that this is a trade. What I'm trying to do is show you a few charts that may be setting up and give you a little bit of, of my thinking behind that chart and why I think there may be some opportunity in that trade. First, let's take a look at Valero Energy. Valero really nice move now full disclosure here um i actually own valero energy and i'm making really good money here on valero what i like about valero is that it's breaking through this resistance and so far at this point we're trying to hold that as support now i wouldn't be at all surprised to see a little bit more rest or pullback in here before this has an opportunity to move higher but let's keep an eye on valero it might be one you know, to put on your list and pay attention to uh, for the days ahead. Let's take a look at ACB. Now, I've mentioned ACB several times, and this is one of those charts that we want to pay attention to, holding on to this trend and just kind of consolidating under this price resistance in the chart. Now, this pink line up here, I have as an alert. And if this chart were to pop up through here, that would be something I would, would want to pay attention to. Now, this is one of those cannabis stocks, and a lot of the cannabis stocks are struggling right now. But please keep in mind that this resistance is kind of important in the chart. If we can actually pop through there, there could be an opportunity. Now, at the same time on a chart like this, we don't want to see this fail below this trend because that could mean some trouble ahead for ACB, and it may be an opportunity uh, for a short in the near future. So one to watch. It's kind of at that at that zone where it's trying to figure out where it wants to go from here. Take a look at BBBY. BBBY, best RO, best buy. Oops, I didn't mean to grab that line. Best Buy, if we run this trend up here, as you can see, we're testing a significant price resistance in the chart. And this price resistance right now is doing its job on this um, on the stock. But if we can continue to consolidate or move back over to this trend without really failing heavily, then we have that opportunity of maybe popping through. You might want to keep an eye on that chart. Pretty good setup here. Something to pay attention to uh, for sure. Take a look at um, Pan W. Pan W has been really, really uh, strong here, holding up well. This is a big breakout up here on Pan W. And you can see this nice little resting period up here where we're pulling back a little bit on Friday. But if we can consolidate along this level right in here, 
or rest in here, we might want to watch Pan W for that opportunity to lift and continue to move on higher. Um, how about Procter and Gamble? PG, Procter and Gamble, beautiful, beautiful chart here. Just moving right on up a trend, not worried about too much of anything, and then getting this nice little consolidation across here. That's a pattern I like to trade. In fact, I call it a pop out of the box pattern. And all it really is is just confirmation that there's no buyers above this level and there's no sellers below this level. And since we're already in a trend, all I want to do is wait for that next move. And you can see, I traded this here. Um, it's a very common pattern for me to trade and Procter & Gamble setting up for more upside highs. And that's one of those consumer defensive companies that if the market starts showing a little bit of worry or uh, consternation, that might be a place to look uh, is some of those uh, stocks. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Again, please click that subscribe button um, and uh, leave a comment. I truly appreciate that. And if you're struggling as a trader, I just want to encourage you to never give up. You know, trading is one of the most challenging businesses out there. As a matter of fact, I've been in business most of my life, and I can tell you there has been no business that challenged me more than the business of trading. And if you're struggling, I want to encourage you not to give up. Uh, there were many, many times when I just I was ready to throw in the towel. I was done uh, trying to figure this business out. But if, um, if, if you're like me and just kind of have that never give up attitude and, and really want to work through uh, those details, I really want to encourage you to do that because it's worth it. it it's not easy and it's going gonna, it's gonna to require you to face all of those things that um, every hang up about money, every, um, every emotion that you have, you will have to face and address those with a set of rules, a set of guidelines. And, um, and then develop the discipline to follow it. Um, if you can do that, and I believe anybody can, trust me, if I can do this, anybody can, um, you can have a future in trading as well. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome Monday. Everyone take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good, really good one.